What's it been like for you here at the uh, University of Colorado after being in the NFL for so long? It's been great. Um, you know, I, I've always believed football is football. Uh, the field's the same size. It's marked differently. You know, the other day I thought a ball wasn't caught in bounds. It was only one foot in. You know, so there's different things I'm getting used to. Uh, but it's, it's fun to be out on the field again. And uh, it's fun to, you know, you know, I have to work behind the scenes. But, you know, just every once in a while provide an idea that, you know, can maybe help these guys become uh, become champions of what they do. You've I've been out sport. of college football for a long time. Yes. Well, what? Why did you think this was a, a challenge, an opportunity you wanted to pursue? Well, I, you know, I believe in Coach Prime, and and I believe in him as a as a man. I remember him first, certainly as a player. I was coaching in the league when when he was playing, so I remember. You know, he was he's one of the the best players of all time in, in that game. I believe in his competitive spirit, and when I was given an opportunity to come work with him, uh, I jumped at it. So that was the beginning. Uh, with regard to college, you're right. Uh, my last college job was at Stanford. Prior to that, Michigan State. Um, but I was in. You know, I was curious uh, about what the differences might be between college ball and and, and and pro ball. And you know, there are some. Maybe ask me a month from now. Um, to define them for you, but um, these guys are eager, they're young. Um, I can watch it as our coaches are working with them, they're all ears. And then certainly the perspective that Coach Prime can give them in the team meetings with, with his great background, um, I think it's, it's, it's really cool. How did How this opportunity come about? Uh, it, just through people uh, that know people, and, and so I was available. Um, I took this year. There were some family events, got a couple weddings. We had a couple, uh, you know, surgeries in the family that I wanted to be fully there for. So uh, I made the effort this year to do that. You know, for the last 25 years of coaching, uh, it, it really goes unsaid, but we're not always around, and so it gave me a year to be around, and I was really thankful for that. And then uh, this summer, um, you know, two and two just kind of became four couple of phone calls here and there and it was something that uh, coach felt uh, somebody like myself could be an asset to the program and then just made it happen what are your early what are your early impressions of coach Lewis's offense uh, it's 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 what I remember college to be you know there's a there's a lot of up tempo stuff you know most of it you know in the NFL I'd sit in the press box and just call the plays in you know so there wasn't a there wasn't a barrier as far as communicating here because it's all signaled in. Um, so it's, you know, it's a tempo style offense. And, you know, a lot of the plays are very familiar, you know, but in a former life, I might've called apple, he calls orange, you know, so you, you quickly, you know, curl flat is curl flat, four verticals is four verticals, you know, so you just kind of tie the words to what we're trying to do. And in this case, the signals, and then you, you know, you, you teach the players what to do. What do your responsibilities look like on a day-to-day -day basis? So I, you know, as you know, being an analyst, I work primarily behind the scenes. So I'm in the meeting room with the coaches. I'm really not allowed to have one-on-one -on -one with players. Uh, it's really hard to be out there and bite your tongue when you see something. But if there is something that, you know, I see that might help a player, I got to just kind of track it through one of the coaches. What are your impressions of the, the talent that you're seeing on the field as a whole so far with the group? Yeah, and again, I, that's the one thing I don't have anything to compare it to because um, I don't know what a, a college uh, field looks like with you know, super talented players. But we have a lot of guys, you know, and I'll just speak from watching our offense. Um, we have a lot of very talented, skilled players. Uh, we got a lot of uh, gritty linemen that, that, that work real hard. And obviously, I think Shador can execute and play at a high level. So. And then we have a nice group of backs as well. So it'll be interesting to see it all come together. Um, when we tee it up against TCU, I'll just be watching it just like you guys. What do you make of the kind of the culture with a lot of people going from a lot of different places and trying to kind of piece that all together? The culture? Yeah. Yeah, I think, um, you know, I think of culture, you know, you have, you're always trying to establish a winning culture. And, and when you have a leader of your team like Coach Prime, who has won, and everything he's done in life, that's where it starts. And so I think if if our players and the people around him just listen to what he's saying, you know, and take his messages to heart, then it'll all start to bloom and blossom. And then 
we'll win football games, and then you know, then we can start talking more about what the culture looks like. How would you describe the state of the program right now? I don't know. I mean, I, I can. I've only been here a couple of weeks. Uh, I see a bunch of guys out there practicing that are eager to compete. Um, you know, they're all ears in all the meetings. You know, you can see out there. There's times. You know, it's a good play or a bad play. Most of the errors out there are correctable. You know, and then uh, I just see a bunch of guys that are real eager to win. Uh, I can't speak to the past because I wasn't here. Uh, but moving forward, I think we're you know we're we're on the right track. You obviously have familiar familiarity with the area, coaching with the Broncos yeah. the last couple of years. Did that kind of play into the decision at all? Just kind of the comfort with the, the area as a whole, being in Colorado. Uh, well, I, living out here is awesome. I, I, we really enjoy um, just life in general here in, in Colorado. And so when this came about, I didn't really get any pushback from my wife. <laughs> You've been a part We're empty of, nesters now, so it's easy, it's an easy, they're easy moves to make. You've been a part of a lot of NFL games. Is there a quarterback, whether in terms of demeanor or talent, you would compare Shador to? I will never do that to a player. I didn't do it. If, if we were over in Dove Valley, I, wouldn't have, I would have said the same thing. So I don't, I don't compare players. Uh, there's a there's many things that Shadur does well, and uh, I think you'll we'll all be able to see it when we start we start playing games. Has this been fun for you to like just see the game in, in a different way as opposed to being a coordinator or a head coach? Uh, it is a little bit, you know. I, I you, no matter what your role is though, you put yourself into it like you're the one calling it and doing it. So you know, I think that's just part of what we do. But no, I've I've really enjoyed it. You know, I think. Regardless of the level, you know, this this past year, I was able to go back and look at the things that I've probably done over the last 10 years and made a, you know, a good list and a bad list, things you'll never do again, things that work that maybe you didn't do in your last job, but you did in the two jobs prior. And uh, so that was a good, um, that was a good exercise. And then just to be do it, just to do it mentally off to the side, uh, it's, it's fun. But I, I think if you're a coach or a career educator like most of us are, to be on the field around the players is kind of what makes us tick, and so that's fun. Well, as you've been here the last couple of weeks, what have been some things that you've seen that Dion does in the program that you found intriguing or unique? Uh, no, I just think he's, a, I think he's an outstanding communicator. I, I, that's the other thing. I'll never tell you what he talks about in team meetings. I think those are private settings. But just in terms of his demeanor, he is an – absolutely outstanding communicator and the way he does it in in the team settings um you can see that it sinks in on the players one more for coach anything else all right thank you coach good thank you thank you coach Appreciate thanks it. cheers